I'm Mateo with Command Access. Today we're going to be looking at our newest release, the MLRK1 Jack 12, our motorized field installable latch retraction kit for the CRL Jackson 1285 1295, the Conier 1686 1786, and the AHT 8 and 9 series. The specs on this one are going to be 900 milliamps for your inrush. And once it goes into the electronic dogging held back mode, it's gonna consume right around 200 milliamps. And remember that all of our products are rated for continuous duty. So jumping into the updates, we have a larger motor on this kit, which is gonna to translate to more torque or pulling power, which is gonna be especially helpful on those vertical rod devices. We have our updated MM5 module with our new connector and our one-touch PTS, which is going to give you max torque standard. And lastly, the installation has been improved. So there's no more disassembly of the full device. You just have to slide off the filler plate, detach the push pad end cap, and then you can install your kit, resulting in a faster and cleaner installation that gets you in and out of your jobs quicker. Also comes with an optional built-in request to exit switch. So this can be added on at the factory. So you install, you have your power here, and you're gonna also have your Rex wires coming out here. So you can save more time and money uh, while you're in the field, or it's always gonna be prepped on the motor kit. So if you do forget to add a Rex, you can always order the Rex and pop it onto the kit in the field. And again, just to repeat what I said earlier, that this kit will work on all rim and concealed vertical rod devices. Along with the kit, you're gonna have your end cap link bracket, which is gonna install right underneath uh, the push pad end cap. And then also your eight inch power lead. So it can give you plug and play access here and then your hardwired termination on this side. Like with all of our products, this is all manufactured in Southern California at the factory and comes with a three year no hassle warranty. All you need to remember on the power supply is that it is a 24 volt regulated and filtered power supply. We recommend to choose a locking hardware power supply to get the best performance. So let's jump in and take a quick look at how this device works and make sure for the full installation that you check out the installation video on our YouTube channel. Thanks and remember, we're always here to help.